literary people make bullshit. I take eyebrows. Um, I was at a conference, so I, I teach. Oh, yeah, okay, I teach. I teach at a, um, a um, prison education program. Okay, so my guys come home and they get in the Beautiful work, except sometimes, you know, writers love to play with white hero, or they like to kind of act like, you know, they discover people like Columbus and shit. And um, one of the fiction writers at this conference referred to prison as a sacred space. You know, this is this is an institution that was built as a result of and in place of, in many cases, child slavery, right? It's the one institution for which they did not ban slavery and involuntary service. But it's a sacred space, according to this thing. And I get it, you know what I'm saying? It's because I teach someone how to write, it's sacred. But you can't call that a sacred space and not expect someone to write a poem about your ass. So this is called for the white fiction writer who referred to prison as a sacred space, a literary analysis. Sacred space. Prison. A guided meditation of 25 years of life. The blessing of the offender rehabilitation coordinator. The Prayer of St. Ambrose. A permanent fellowship to the Upstate Writers Conference. Solitary confinement. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Ted Kaczynski. Conversion narrative. A poet leaves prison and slips into the mind jail. A poet leaves prison to push a shopping cart full of his sudden worldly possessions. A memoir is to his writings demonstrate journalistic aplomb and nothing more. Scenes, transitional housing. Scenes, shared facilities among brothers he loves unconditionally. Scenes, exactly like the Pope who is after all the Jesuits and therefore a believer, a believer in liberational pedagogy. Acting Commissioner of God, Deputy Commissioner of Allah. Literary Movement, 1215, 115, 215, 315. A literary history of incarceration. The supreme fiction of the conditional release date, the variable foot of lockdown and call out, postmodern poetics of the carceral state, the El Barrio School of Poetry, the Harlem School of Poetry, the Claremont BX School of Poetry, the East New York School of Poetry, the Watson School of Poetry, the Bushwick School of Poetry, Mark Haven Magical Realism, Black Mountain One Train at 125th Street, Woo! I'm the voice here. Nassau County Sheriff's Office. Major works produced. Gentrification of the epic. Colonization of the crown of science. Lawrence applies for educational release in the state of New York, a farce in three parts. NYC Housing Connect, a hero's journey. Andre doesn't live here anymore. One flew over Shawanka and never came back. One flew over Eastern and never came back. One flew over Koya's Borough and never came back. One flew over his parole appointments and never came back. One flew over Methadone and decided he didn't need to come back. Literary terminology. Protagonist, the CEO. Antagonist, the professor. Unreliable narrative. The Department of Corrections and Community Supervision. <laughs> oh, I see it's going report. Very nice. And now for all, no word on plans. No word on background check. No word on your LCTA application. Anachronism. Tuberculosis testing. Omniscient narrator. Parole officer. Epistolary. Letter to the parole board. Letter to the parole officer. Letter to the judge. Letter to the HRA. Shakespeare, tomorrow, and 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 tomorrow. Irony, 